The president is now extending, as I mentioned, restrictions put in place because of the coronavirus. President Trump says social distancing will now continue until April 30th. As social distancing keeps Americans at home, employees at a popular grocery deliv delivery service are planning a nationwide strike today. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside a jewel in Old Town with details on why workers at Instacart are striking, Eric. Yeah, good morning to you, Aaron. Good morning, Ryan. In a matter of hours, Instacart delivery drivers will be walking off the job, leaving shoppers' orders unfilled. This jewel here in Old Town is just one of over 25,000 grocery stores nationwide impacted by this walkout. Instacart employees are demanding higher safety standards and hazard pay amid the COVID-19 pandemic. With millions of Americans erring on the side of caution, staying at home and ordering their grocery items through companies like Instacart, the workers are dropping their orders off and they're worried about putting their own lives at risk. Constantly having to head into neighborhood grocery stores without being provided personal protective equipment like masks and gloves. Instacart employees say they've also seen no sort of pay bump despite the increase in demand and danger they believe they're putting themselves in. CBS 2 News talked to a 23-year-old college senior delivering groceries to get by. I used to maybe have one or two orders pop up at a time. Now it's maybe 10 on my screen at once. I think they might have the money to give a couple extra dollars per order, especially with how much busier the company's been. And CBS 2 News did reach out to Instacart. The company tells us they are working to manufacture their own hand sanitizer and then distribute it to all of their over 150,000 delivery drivers across the nation, hoping it will help put a quick end to this strike. I'm Eric Cox, live in Old Town this morning, CBS 2 News.